We started off this process by talking with people who were visually impaired. We conducted multiple phone and in-person interviews in an attempt to find out everything we could about their daily routines and difficulties they faced. Since we are not visually impaired, we really needed to get into the lives of these people and find out where they struggle and how we can make a product that helps them in their daily lives. We found out through our research and interviews that navigating an unknown area or settings that can change frequently was very difficult. Daniel Kish, who is completely blind, uses echolocation to navigate. It's amazing what he's able to do. He hikes, walks down busy streets, and even taught himself to ride a bike. He's able to accomplish this by listening to the echo created by the ambient noise in his environment as it bounces off objects around him. That's when we realized we could create a learning system and product that could really teach people how to echolocate and expand the possibilities for the visually impaired. That's how we came up with this idea for Navi. At its core, Navi is a learning system that people can access on their phones via our application. It'll teach people how to identify sound patterns in order to determine their surroundings. A challenge was presented when instructing users on learning echolocation because headphones would block a vital part of echolocation, which is hearing. We innovated a design for Navi that utilizes bone conduction technology. Essentially, the device rests on your cheekbone and transmits audio vibrations through your skull to your inner ear. People can now listen to the audio without their hearing being hindered and participate in real-time instructions. When designing the bone conduction headphones, I had to really think about how a person without their vision would interact with them, which is primarily through touch. And this appeared difficult at first, but through my design process, I figured out how we could communicate function through things like material, servicing on the product, and even braille. For example, the volume and play pause are controlled on the right side through capacitive touch. And to lead the user to this control, I made a subtle but defined crease that runs from behind the ear all the way forward up to five small bumps where the volume control is. And by giving our user these cues, it not only makes our product much more fun and easy to use, but it, it means that instead of worrying about how to use our product, they can just focus on learning this amazingly useful and life-changing skill. The user experience has been a real focus for us as a team. Like with the headphones, we had to take into consideration how people with visual impairments would interact with our application. The goal when designing this app was to make it simple, easy to use, and intuitive. Users have the option to sign in with their fingerprint, and once logged in, are taken immediately to their dashboard, which details the most important and relative information in regards to their current lesson. When users navigate to the lesson page, they are read a list of objectives before they begin. A visual waveform of the ambient noise helps sighted users recognize sound patterns. To keep this learning process fun and engaging, we decided to implement badges and achievements that users can earn while they progress through their lessons. Our hope is that this app not only teaches people how to echolocate, but also builds a positive and fun community for people to get involved with.